everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a re-unboxing video. And I'm basically gonna be re-unboxing my Christmas present that I got. So this year we had an incredible Christmas. In Germany, Christmas is on the 24th, rather than like in Canada, which was on the 25th, so North American Christmas. Um, it's, it's just a little bit different, it's the day before. So we celebrated on the 24th and we drank a lot and we, we had a lot of food. We opened presents. And one of my presents was actually something that I've been wanting to have for a very, very long time. And I'm so happy that I finally got it because I've been dreaming about this sort of present for, or this box for a long time. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to own something that was like a professional box set of all kinds of art materials. It was just something that I really, really wanted to have. I'm so, so fortunate that my husband, his parents and his grandparents um, put together money to get me this specific present. And today we're gonna be re-unboxing it. I, of course, opened it on Christmas day and I already tried some of the materials. Yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that the actual box, like what I'm talking about, you'll see that I had opened it all up and I showed it off and yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a video and I'm just gonna be showing you guys like what's included in the box, what the box is, what kind of brand it is and um, yeah, a little bit sort of like a company history um, behind the company who produces this product. And of course it's one of my favorite brands. You guys um, probably know that I always speak about them. And of course this video is not sponsored at all. It's just me talking about my, my love for the brand and the fact that I, I, I'm just so excited to have this present or this, this box set finally after so many years of wanting to have it. So I'm just, I'm just really, really happy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy enjoy this video. And the gift is basically this baby right here, which is the Faber-Castell Art and Graphic Collection. And it's this box set that is a wooden box set, which includes all kinds of wonderful things. Absolutely wonderful. It's quite heavy. Um, so I was really like excited when I started to open the present, um, but yeah. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Faber-Castell. I always use their Polychromos pencil crayons, and um, I have been using this brand since I was a little girl, more or less. My parents were buying like Faber-Castell pencil crayons for school. You know, just something that I've always been sort of involved with was Faber-Castell. So if we turn this box around, uh, it's quite, quite heavy because it's an actual wooden box filled with wonderful things. So you can see on the back, let's flip that up. So the art and graphic collection here, um, basically it is an exquisite wench stained wooden case for the most discerning of artists. A basic set containing 36 polychromos artists color pencils, 36 Albrecht Dürer, I don't know, this is the German name right here, Albrecht Dürer, Artist watercolor pencils, 36 polychromos artist crayons, a selection of pit monochrome artist items and accessories. And then there's a extra paragraph here that says all favorite Castell artist products share the same traditional unwavering quality standard, high quality pigments of unsurpassed color brilliance, outstanding ease of use, and environmentally friendly water-based lacquer. Lacquer, lacquer. <laughs> yeah, so here, and then we've got all of the colors that are part of the set, and more or less the basic colors. Um, so it's quite quite a good selection of colors here. It's a really nice beginner's set. So let's put the box back down and we're gonna basically open it up and I will show you how it looks like on the inside. All right, so let's open the box up. Now, when I first got this on Saturday, it was the 24th, like I couldn't believe my eyes. I first saw the logo of Avery Castell and I started freaking out. And when I opened it, this is how it looked like. Ugh. You can tell it's quite heavy. This is the box here, has a beautiful logo, Faber Castell. Um, it's a really, really nice wooden box. Let's get a better look here, Faber Castell. Extremely, extremely high quality box, actually. It's um very, very sturdy. It has like, um, what's really cool about this box is once it's shut, so it has claps, clasps here where you can just open. And once they're both shut, so we have two on both sides, once they're both shut, the drawers that are on the side are completely locked. So they won't accidentally fall out, which is really, really cool. All right, so let's open this baby. I've been carrying this box around 
ever since I've received it, like back and forth. I have no space on my desk, as you can see, to have it. Because once it's open, it's actually quite big. Um, but yeah, I've been carrying this around everywhere I've, <laughs> I've been going because I've been drawing so much um, during the Christmas holidays. So here, let's open it. So you unclaps, unclasp these two clasps, I guess you can say. Then you just open it up. Woo, baby! For those of you who love art supplies, this is probably, I don't know, it's so... Uh, there's just something about opening a case full of pencils. So the first thing you see at the top here is of course the beautiful logo. It looks really, really cool. Um, we have here a nice collection of um, charcoal pencils, different varieties here of the hard, medium, and soft. We have a um, the Pit Pastel Soft. Um, like pastel pencil crayons, I guess you can say. Then we have the brush, and I had no idea they actually made brushes um, for watercolor, which is quite nice. We have a sharpener and a, an eraser, and I really like these erasers. I use them all the time. Um, the Faber-Castell uh, Needable Art Eraser, so I have a blue one, which you guys probably see me use quite often in my streams. I have this blue one. I also have a green one, and now we have a gray one. Yeah. Um, and here, once we kind of open this little slot, we have some pastels, which are basically sepia-toned and um, black, and then we have a white one as well. We're just gonna keep, make sure that the cover is on. There we go. Further down here, we have all of these wonderful colors. These are the watercolor pencils. These are super high quality. I've been using them, um, so I've been using the skin colors. I've been just been practicing with them. Um, these are really, really, really nice. And they work quite well. Now, if we were to open up this drawer, I kind of need more space here. Ah! So here is the pastel drawer. So if we open it, there's a nice plastic cover. And here's just like, kind of a paper explaining what the pastels are. Um, so if we read on this side, it basically just states that the pastels contain a high proportion of top quality pigments of exceptional light fastness, which are embedded in a small quality of binding agents. It's an extremely high quality level, is guaranteed by careful processes to trades and craft standards. Um, and then it goes on to say, due to natural temperature fluctuations and environmental humidity, microcrystals may form along the cut edge in exceptional instances, this might then cause the first line laid down to be slightly scratchy. However, from then on, you will experience the smooth and comfortable usage you are accustomed to. So this is for the pastels, favorite castel pastels. There's also a little foam kind of cover here. And here are all of the colors. Now the colors here are pretty much the same colors as the um, watercolors, and we also have another drawer with the polychromos colored pencils. So here are all of the pastel sticks. And I think that's pretty much, there's 36 of them. Now I've actually kind of not really tried the um, pastel sticks before. Um, I don't really use the pastel sticks. I usually use the um, pen pastel, artist pastel, like kind of, Pins. So the sticks are really new to me, but I'm so excited to try them out. Now on the other side, <laughs> let's just move, my desk is too small for all of this. The other side, there's another drawer here. And this is with the Polychromos um, pencil crayons. Ah! And of course there's a set of 36 as well. Um, so for you guys who know, I do use the Polychromos pencil crayons quite often in my art um, from Faber-Castell and I have all these already. And now I have a whole nother set of 36, so I'm so excited. I have a lot of duplicates, like kind of the same colors over and over. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I have a whole nother set. Um, and that's basically it. So the drawers are super smooth. You can close it. There's a little kind of handle here where you can pull. And yeah, I think that this is a such a cool beginner set. It's so beautiful. So this is basically the box set that I got for Christmas and I'm so, so fortunate that I was able to get this gifted to me because it is quite pricey and I have um, my husband and his parents and his grandparents to thank for that. I think retail wise, this goes for approximately Oh gosh, I can't remember exactly, 280 or 90 euros um, here in Germany. And I've seen prices already in Canada, um, which were approximately close to $500 Canadian dollars. So I'm not sure in terms of US-wise, but yeah, it is quite a pricey box, but it does include quite a bit of 
of things. There's 36 colors of the watercolor, there's 36 of the colored pencils, and then there's 36 of the pastels. And then it includes like charcoal and other sort of pastel pencils with a watercolor brush, um, sort of a blender, and other types of knickknacks on the top, like an eraser sharpener and other sort of pastels on the top here as well. And on top of it, it includes like a sturdy wooden box, which is so well done, um, super high quality. There's also just something else that I wanted to kind of share with you guys. And this is just the sort of pamphlet here or the booklet that came in the actual box. It was just kind of standing or standing on top or sitting on top of the pencils here. This booklet was really, really interesting to read. And if you're interested in the company in itself, um, Faber-Castell, where they came from, um, exactly yeah, a little bit of history about it, then definitely read this. Um, it comes in the box. I'm not sure where else this pamphlet or booklet comes from. Um, but yeah, it was included in the box, which was really, really interesting. So yeah, so basically a little bit about the company. Um, if you guys were interested, then keep watching because it's actually really interesting interesting history. Basically, Faber-Castell is one of Europe's oldest industrial companies. Um, and that in itself, as a historian, like, Myself, I'm not a historian, I'm not saying that, but like someone who's obsessed with history, um, especially European history and German history, I think that's fascinating in itself. It was established in 1761 um, in Germany, so I think it's actually in Nuremberg. Um, correct me if I'm wrong for those people who, 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 who know more about this brand than I do, but yeah, it's definitely a German brand. It was established in 1761 and it's one of Europe's oldest industrial companies. Um, so I think that's fascinating. That's so incredible. And what's really, really cool about it is that this brand is still run by the same family who found it eight generations later. So uh, we got this really cool picture here. Can you guys see that? Look. So on the right side, you've got the founder. And then on the left side, you've got, I guess, the current guy who owns it, which is eight generations down from the original owner. And they kind of do look alike if you actually look at that. It's so funny. I love it. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a box set like this. Um, what you like about it, what you don't like, um, if you've always wanted one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me also know what kind of Christmas presents you guys got because it was Christmas. So let me know if you guys got any art presents. Um, I love to hear about your stories and yeah basically give this video a big thumbs up and I will be seeing you guys in my next live streams as well as my next tutorial videos so I don't know there's some things coming up guys there's some things so yeah subscribe if you guys are new um, there's a lot of cool art stuff coming up um, basically would like to wish you a happy new year um, into the year 2017 so yeah <laughs> happy new year guys bye, bye.